So you're directional drilling from there. Yeah. And then those little yellow dots along there is kind of the path. And then you said this is seven Yeah, so feet. right now we're, we're seven feet ahead of it. And we're about nine foot four is where it's going to be when it comes to here. We only have 80 yards left. So that's going pretty fast because you're only you've only been drilling for what five minutes yeah, that, yeah. no it goes pretty quick when it works well we could show you and you can actually see the whole thing spinning so then that's so that's just showing the that the is, end he's spinning, spinning yeah. he's pushing through yeah Do. Oh, so it's it's coming out yeah, about yeah. right here. It's gonna right here is gonna be eight and a half. So I imagine it'll be a couple feet above the water there. Right? So yeah, about in that line, but where it looks lighter. Yeah. I just saw the ground move right there. Did you? Yeah. Some sort of sci-fi monster <laughs> coming out about to get us. Look at the water coming out with it. Do you see that? Whoa! Whoa, it burped at you. <laughs> oh, there's the paddle thing, see? Oh, well, there it comes. Turn it to seven. Why'd you have to turn it? So we have uh this collar here sits and pushes up against the head. It has a set screw here. You've got this screw here, so you have to take that out and you slide the collar back, and then you can thread the head out, and we'll go and we'll put that reamer you have in the tractor, and we'll put the reamer threaded on, and then pull back with that. So all the electronics are up in this yeah, part so this, here, then. This cap just, here. It's you like a take cool those two robot. screws out, and you pop this off, and there's. It's about that same size inside there as the brain. It sends all the, the signals to the So now, got the pipes on the tractor there. I'll thread those down, tie them on to the end of the drill, and pull them back through over to the hill side over there. So now i got to move this around. Designed by an engineer instead of a user. <laughs> yeah. So we're somehow we're supposed to be able to thread this on and keep that O-ring there. And that's what's supposed to seal the water. Instead of having a flat over a uh, flat ring on the back that just butts up against there, they put that stupid little thing. No, he said if you turn it too soon, it takes the, binds up the, the snake skins on it. And so once, once they get it started, then they'll spy, then they'll turn up the reamer and start. He said they could probably just about pull it through without, without reaming the hole, but. Now six feet at a time, pull the lines through that hole.
So there we are, directional drilling. That's a water line and that's an aeration line. So you can see all the way over to there is where we ran them. There they are coming out. This is gonna be our water source. Use those lines, one, obviously this intake line is to suck the water. And then the secondary one, the air line, is to aerate the dugout to keep the water fresh during the winter. Let me show you the alternative. I put a line in for my septic line and uh, didn't use directional drilling, I used the excavator. Let's look at the difference. This pile of dirt is from putting in the septic tank. So, I mean, kind of ignore that. But for the same size inch and a half line from there, down there you can definitely tell definitely tell the part i did with the excavator and which part was done with the directional drilling so is directional drilling a better way to install water lines heck yeah